Hey guys, Ryu here with none of it for Blender and this one's gonna be about bevels and why you should use different sizes of bevels and you know different sizes of chamfers, lines, etc. So it's important for the quality of design and if you're going to be using the same bevel for everything, your stuff gonna look bloody boring. If you look around yourself, you know, uh, in real life, you look at computer, I don't know, microphone, telephone, cup, whatever the hell you have on your desk, you will notice different sizes of bevels and it's really important. So it takes a bit of effort to, you know, to achieve that, but um, uh, everything that's good come with an effort, okay? So don't be lazy. Uh, use different sizes of bevels. So for example, if I'm going to have this cube here with, you know, a bevel and weighted normals modifier, okay, bevel is at 30 degrees at the moment, and I'm going to start slicing it, you will notice that all these cuts uh, have the same bevel size as the main cube. And that's a bit of a problem because, like I said, it looks bloody boring. Um, so the way to, you know, improve this would be to run multiple sizes of bevels. Now, how you can achieve this? You can achieve this in two ways. One of them would be to run a bevel at a different angle, and the other one would be to run a bevel um, at angle and the other one at weight. So, what does it mean? Well, let's grab a cube and let me show you, okay? So, I'm going to grab it in here. I'm going to apply a bevel. I'm doing it with hard ops, but you can do it with vanilla blender. It's not a big problem. You can do the same thing in here. And you can see that the bevel is at 30 degrees. So when I'm going to add, um, you know, add a boolean now, it's going to run through the same angle. However, if I'm going to press Q and shift control click on bevel and press X, you will see that um, I will add another bevel and the bevel is going to have a different angle. So this one is at 30, this one is at 60. And this will allow me to draw another cut here, but you can see that the bevel size is very different. Also, you can um, adjust these bevels separately. So I can go to bevel and adjust this one, press Q and adjust the main one, which is, you know, great, because now we can have two different bevels running on this mesh. And you can keep going, press Q, shift click, Control and X to slice the bevel size in half and now you got even smaller bevel and this is the way you should be working uh, Because you know, like I said That's that's how um, bevels uh, are run in nature also uh, Experiment with edges for example if you have an edge in here You know instead of having a straight edge make it a chamfer or for example a manual bevel like this and it, you know th things start to look a bit much more interesting than in here okay so that's really important in terms of design so don't think just about the shape but also think about the thickness of bevels and that's you know these thicknesses of bevels should also make sense so it shouldn't be just willy-nilly, but, you know, they should make sense. Like, for example, if, if you want to make something a bit more supple, you're going to have a thicker bevel, kind of softer. And if you want to have something more, I don't know, metallic or hard surface, like you're going to have a thinner bevel to emphasize, you know, the hardness of a surface, right? Like I said, you can do this in Vanilla Blender. So if I move this in here, um, I'm going to move it with all the bevels. Let me just remove them. Okay, all of them. And we're going to run a regular bevel here and weighted normals, okay? Now I can add the bevel manually. So if I'm going to cut something in here, you see again, it's going to inherit the same, um, the same bevel as the main cube, but you can add a bevel manually, okay? So I just add the bevel, and then we will need to uh, bring it to the top, okay? So above uh, this boolean, and let's switch it to three segments, and switch it to angle, and let's switch it to uh, this one, let's switch it to 60, and uh, this one on the top is going to be 30. So now if I'm going to cut this, you will see that this bevel here is of a half size. So, you know, if I'm going to adjust it 
um, it's one bevel, press Q, and it's a second bevel. So like I say, you can do it with hardops or vanilla blender. Hardops just makes it a bit easier. There's not a way of doing this in hardops, and it's by uh, using step, uh, which is a great way of working. I love working with step. So you simply add a bevel, and then you, you, know, you cut it. Then you go to operations, I think, was it? Or was it mesh tools are here? You press step. And you have a you know half size bevel, so it's literally the same as pressing uh, Control Shift control, um, on bevel and pressing X, because it's exactly what's going to happen. You can see that there's one at 30 and one at 60. So step is a really fast way of working. The other way of doing this would be by actually adding weight. So if I multiply this cube in here, I remove all the junk from here, add a bevel. Add weighted normals and slice this and I'm going to apply it okay so now I got this bevel running through this entire cube but what I can do is for instance let's just unmark this and let's go here and remove B weight from it let's press ctrl shift on sharpen this will sharpen all the edges but what I want to do here is I want to add weight, okay? So I'm going to go to, uh, where is it? Bevel weight, that's the one, and move your mouse to the right. And now I got a bevel weight running on these edges. So um, if I'm going to switch this bevel um, from angle to weight, you will see that only these edges are gonna get uh, beveled. So you could isolate certain areas with uh, B weight. So, you know, telling Blender that, you know, I want to bevel these edges based on weight. That's it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Give us a like and sub if you did. Links to hard ups, box cutter and machine tools in the video description. So if you want to buy them, go through the links. You're going to help me as well. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.